Okay, back again and uh, making sure that it looks like it's working. Okay, I, I've clicked on this a few times and it didn't work and uh, I didn't want to keep fooling with it, but since it's such a problem, uh, it's right now supposedly setting up repositories to, I did the, uh, here's the first screen you get, you know, OBS has quit unexpectedly, uh, do you want to report it? And I clicked up there on the right report and uh, that one has nothing in it. And so then it brought up a screen saying, uh, you know, it was, do, it was gonna do the report. Let me open up this screenshot. And I went ahead and put it back to enforce streaming service too before I started this video. Okay, so that's what we just looked at. Uh, show, show log is how I got that where you can see everything. It says, do you want to generate a stack trace locally? And I said, yes, uh, <coughs> because when I tried to, where'd it go? I guess I didn't get a screenshot of it. Or This app doesn't always follow by ex actual dates either. Let's try it with Gwynview, make sure. I think that's what's going on. The names are a little different in some of these. Whoops. Names are a little different in some of these uh, files because I had to use a different screenshot app to get the screenshot I wanted. You can't <clears throat> with the, uh, I can just hit print screen and get a screenshot instantly with the whatever is the default one. But uh, if I want it to be delayed, I used to only use Shutter, but it uses up too many resources, so I don't use it all the time now. But, um, uh, yeah, and see this, and I don't use Gwynview as my default uh, image viewer anymore because it, it uses too many resources. See how long it's taken to just go to full screen? So I uh, hope I didn't mess up by opening it up. <coughs> All right, so um, no, it's not moving to the next one like it should. got my laptop running over there waiting for me to do a live stream it's running for nothing just getting hot so I'll shut it down okay it finally started moving huh all right so that's the way it's set now still lagging there okay so that's what it was doing and then yeah and I said uh Generating a stack trace locally. Let's see. Retrace server is unable to process the package OBS Studio. So, so. Hmm. So, yeah, there's something's missing there. That's what it is uh, that I did. But anyway, I, every time I try to report the problem with the ABRT automatic bug reporting in Fedora 28 here, it doesn't seem to be working. Close that too. Looking for needed repositories. I think it's going to give an error. It's taking way too long. Report. You report. Completed successfully. Up. Okay to upload. Yes, yeah, so-and-so. Okay, it, it made the report. Okay. Oh, no. Let's see. Yeah, I downloaded everything to do a, a, a bug trace. I forgot. What do you call it? I forgot what you call them, but the uh, packages and everything, those type of packages. I guess if I read this, well, I want it to do it, so yes, okay. So, yeah, let's go to where we're at here. <coughs> FFmpeg. Oh, FFmpeg debug. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the debug stuff, and but it'll do it automatically for you. But it's, see, you know, you, that that stuff is typically pretty large. All the uh, packages uh, uh, for debugging applications. Uh, so you don't really. I used to actually turn that on and have it do it automatically. So it's filling up my system. So. Uh, <clears throat> What it's doing is installing the debug packages so that it can debug it and then send a, 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 tra a stack trace, I think is what they call it, up to ABRT automatic bug reporting. So, but that just means that 
they'll look at it and if they think it's a bug then they might they'll fix it or they might email you and say do you you have to you have to have an account with abrt you know the and everything and i do and i have it all evidently i have my password all set up in here and it, it's doing it automatically otherwise it can't just stop and make you know say you don't you have to log in blah 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 you know and you can just used to you could just log in each and every time but that was a pain so i saved my password in in the password manager for it for this application i don't even remember whether or not i did it but <clears throat> um evidently i did because I thought it was hanging up on that. Maybe uh, I was. I was in a hurry every time it came up, and I didn't want to read everything. <laughs> but this time, I just kept clicking yes, okay, and and, and I said, "Hey, it's, it's downloading the debug packages." So I thought, okay. <clears throat> but I swear, yesterday I tried it, and it and it just aired out and said, "Can't do it. Sorry." You know. I think I have some screenshots of that, but it may take a little while to install this, but. Uh, see yeah see dnf is uh running right now installing that stuff it's just it's doing it automatically instead of you having to manually go do it and i have obs to the over in workspace two because this one was in workspace one and i couldn't get it to move it didn't act like it wanted to move so i didn't want them all in the same window because that usually confuses me but actually this may be confusing me more <laughs> <coughs> Um, I think I'll put it back left. They can live in the same window, I guess. And I can do that. I'm just not at all used to that. Okay, so um, while that's going on, I don't want to, you know, try streaming and crash OBS again. I want. I don't want to do anything that could ac might accidentally interrupt this. I don't think it would interrupt this, but I don't want to take that chance. So... Um, I thought it would be might be quite helpful to show what happens when you you know you, you submit a it, <clears throat> a bug report with ABRT. That's, there's a name of it right there, top top there. OBS killed by SIG. There you go. O, SIG SIG uh, A B R T S I G A B R T. Hmm. That gives you a clue right there. And I just remembered, you know, it, it was saying, well, what, every time you look for help, it says, what's your logs, what's your logs? So let's see. If, I've got log readers on here. There's one network log viewer. Log file viewer. I think I have three of them. Oh, that's robotics. So I think it's going to be either this one. Oh, from robots over the network. Yeah, I put in some robot applications thinking I wanted to look at them and try to learn about them and have never had a chance, really. Oh, there's the other one. Detailed event logs for the system. Okay, so it's this one and this one. <clears throat> I don't remember which one's the easiest to read. Yeah, it's good to you find a lot of good stuff when you let's see. What are we doing here? Oh, it's wanting me to log into OBS. Okay. can't remember um where is OBS I think it'd be better not to show <laughs> that part now I can't find the login screen it would jumped up over here in the workspace I was in I'm gonna have to look it up I can't even guess. Okay, well, let me do that. Now, 
I'll just let you look at my pretty face while I do it because I don't want to show any of this. Here we go. I think I found it. Oh. Oh, here we go. Only th okay. We'll see if that works. <clears throat> it's either either going to be you know a username or an email address. Didn't squawk yet saying I did it wrong. So yeah, it's uh, bugzilla.redhead.com is where you could go to look at bugs, and that's where you go to join it. Okay, I'm looking at my some of my information here while I'm waiting to see if it's going to work log in. I think I, it worked. Used to, they didn't call it ABRT, they called it Bugzilla. <clears throat> okay, so uh, it looked like it logged in just fine. Let's see. Okay, how did this problem happen step by step? Quick start stream. Yeah, so I did get logged in. I don't know what caused the problem, and I'm not going to stick the access because as long as they don't share any. <clears throat> Let's see. What's this? There's a backtrace. Well, this will tell you a lot right here if you can get through it and see any of it. Oh, heck, damn it. Now I want to show you. Okay. okay. Here's where I'm at. I clicked on... Uh, Oh, well, now it's saying restrict. It, it's saying that there's stuff that could be. It automatically click restrict access of the to the report. I'm gonna leave it like that. To only like the developers and stuff is what it would be, I guess. Yeah, cause there could end up being. You don't know what might show up. You know, let's say for this program, if your uh, your YouTube password happened to be in a one of, of text file inside of one of these it shouldn't be it should be encrypted but if it was i don't see anything that looks like that vlc plugins <clears throat> a lot of vlc plugin stuff hola so that goes the vlc is how i stream my audio and video over the network so HTTP access 51, hmm, a lot of that. All this is all stuff that I, you know, it's other than the human readable stuff, it's <laughs> it's over my head. So I just always send it in and hope that maybe something will come along. Okay, now I review the data and I'll agree with submitting it. Yeah, we're not done yet. Oh, you can look through here and deselect anything you want, which I better look. I just noticed. Okay. Plus, this is my, I might see something that tells me what's going on, help me figure it out. Because they're not going to answer you. They may or may not ever even at contact you. You can go back and look at this bug report and see what the answers are. But they won't write, email you or anything unless they want to ask you to, like, run some, run some commands or something. Sometimes they'll ask you to do that.
killed by... I'd like to copy that. I can't. S-I-G-A-B-R-T. At least now I got it on the screenshot. Okay. Now, invalid password. Had gum. Oh, I guess you got to put your username in. Last time I put it. Now I'm going to have to go find all that again because <clears throat> again, in case I make some sort of mistake, I'm going to go back to the camera. Mistake in showing what I don't want to show. So I guess it's email address. I was trying to use my old. I, I knew what my username was. I guess you have to use email now. Yeah. Now you got to give the password. If I can find, I've got so much junk open now, I can't find my. Could have been I got the password wrong, too. Processing failed. That's the same error I always get. This is the part where I get tired of messing with it. It's like network connection, corrupt problem data, and valid configuration. So I guess I don't have that password saved in there preferences repeat after changing it well it could be I messed up pet uh, Helping my password the first time, and you really do use your just your username. So that's going to be it's going to be gone now. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, we're on the camera now. Well, let's get out of all things that could be. just have logs open now I think no need to close that <clears throat> I'm trying to hurry up and do something else look at this nothing ever goes quick or smooth there's a, I thought it was just some configuration that I had done to OBS that caused this but it's looking like it's not it's looking like a bug Let's see. Okay, so this is the log viewer called. Uh, I'm in the Chrome right now. What do I want to be in? Let's see. Messy. Okay, now, <clears throat> so you can filter them, manage filters, add a filter, name, mm. 
that over here. Uh, that's a little more complicated than I was expecting it to be. I don't know what regular expression to use. I kind of know what they're talking about because I've used those and it's not a word or anything. Well, let's try find. I think I was, yeah, that's all I want is find. OBS, no managing signal on Avid Advanced Audio Props. Huh. Now where where do we go? There we go. Custom context. You know, my bend, a numb, a bend. I don't know. None of that seems to be, I don't know what it's talking about. Has there been OBS? Or dump? See if we can make it move. There we go. And still stay on the same line. Come on. Doesn't want to move. Web message. If I wiggle the mouse a little bit, it moves. That's a very, very long message. Let's see. Stack trace. It almost looks like that's where it was trying to send in that. Let's see what the next one is. OBS, OBS, that's a down the long message. Now this may be where it's, where I was just now trying to send in that. See, you wouldn't want to, uh, uh, I really don't know how you would get just the log for, must not be going back to the top, let's see. There it is. Ah, uh, here's a crash. Crashed, yeah, we know that. That's back where I started. So there's a crash. Lib Kellogg. Copy that. Libc Calloc. So let's go to, yeah, we're on the desktop. Well, I closed the browser a while ago. <clears throat> so we'll do a new search for um, what we found in the log there. that extra program there, that screenshot program. That's how it was in there, so let's... Did you mean... No, I didn't. I mean, exactly what I put in there. Malloc. I don't know if that's trying to do it's Calloc. I don't know if it's trying to do it's not trying I guess it's trying to do a spelling correction. <laughs> I don't know. Okay.
This is always about windows, though. Yeah, backslash, backslash. Negative crashes. Oh, there might be something in the settings. File, settings folder, neg navigate to crashes. Okay. And upload available log. Oh, that's the same problem they had before, AMF encoder, but still it's windows so, so I don't think I've already tried to figure out you know I shouldn't have any problem with the encoder well unless my uh, I guess it's using I think I'm using FFmpeg uh, I think that's what's defaulted and unless that's something some update to it caused something to not work with OBS but it works with OBS it doesn't work with the streaming of OBS so, uh, that's 2016. Let's see. Let's see if it's, see if anybody's getting that in 2019. I've already been to that one there that says 2019. Well, I'll put that in there, but I don't think it's. Well, since I'm seeing so many people looking for help on this, I think it's a bigger deal than I thought. Somehow that changed to read me. Uh, boot log. Secure. I don't see. I don't. Dean, uh, Chrome job shouldn't have anything to do with it. Kibalizer. Okay, Hunter. <coughs> okay. I'm seeing things that I didn't even realize. I didn't know I had Rootkit Hunter running automatically. I wanted it to. I don't remember setting it up, though. Must have. I did so many group installs. Uh, I'm so, I might have ran some commands <laughs> in those group installs that made those things happen. MAV has been updating, looks like. I think I do kind of remember trying to get that to do automatically. <coughs> Even when it's not running the GUI app, you know. Let's see, DNF. That would tell you about your updates and stuff. 
Okay, so I'm not going to keep looking through that. Um, look at that other log viewer. It might have... There's one, and then... Okay, that one. See if it... This one didn't ask you to log in as root like the other one did, so I don't know if you can. Uh, you can look at some stuff. There we go. It's got a nice search. Context menu request. No match. It's like that's a lot longer than what you can see. No matching signal. That makes me wonder. Oh, there you can see the rest of it. ADV audio prompt destroyed. Wonder if that's it. What's really going on for me? Hmm. Can't copy it in order to paste it in there, though. Then there's this other one process. Oh, it does it completely different. Forward link, stack trace. How you expect I expect you to read that? Too little to read. Some of this may be ongoing right now. <laughs> Crashed and dumped core. And crashing program. Okay. And then there's uh, telling you where to go. Clicked on it and it went to it. Well, that's system D development. I don't know. It's getting into a bunch of cans of worms here. All right. Well, <coughs> can uh, when something gets if it's got a bug in it or something, you just have to wait for them to fix it. That's the thing. But that kind of thing. I thought it might just be some settings. Well, now I can do that. I'm going to go back to my last known working settings and see if it just starts working again. But it still might happen. I keep seeing something about audio. Uh, and, you know, I did do audio settings. I changed all those audio settings, added all those. Uh, and I wanted to keep them because so I can use my lapel mic. You know, I didn't want to have to start over and do that again. But I wanted to be able to keep them. So, uh, but... I can just use the SM58, and then I can just manually put them back in again, you know, hoping it will work this time. Or I guess I could put a battery in the camera, phone 3, and use it, put one of these other batteries in it to do that. But, um, <clears throat> okay, so, well, sheesh, okay, this is... I can feel the time rolling. Well, it's gotten dark. It tells me something. So uh, I'm going to quit on this. Uh, I think I'll try. Let's see. I don't think I've done anything else to it. I was going to say I might try hit and stream again one more time. I'll try hit and stream again one more time, make sure it's not actually working. And uh, then I will import those settings. And I can't do that on the screen, though. I can't do an import of a profile while I'm recording, see it's grayed out. So uh, 
right up here. You go up here and you go profile and then import. And so I can't do that while it's well, while it's recording. So I guess I'll do that because it's usually the smartest thing to do is go back to the last known good configuration. So I'll go. I'll do that before I give up. All right. Bye bye.